Okay. Let me do you remember I used to do that on Sister Sister? All righty then. <laughs> We're such <laughs> dorks. <laughs> but anyway, Tamir, I wanted to talk to you about something. I don't want you to take it, you know, too seriously, but I just felt that I needed to just talk to you about this thing. About what? During your wedding, I felt left out. I felt that it was extremely difficult to communicate with you. I'm so confused. I was confused and a bit hurt that Tia felt left out. Fact is, is there was always a reason why she was late or couldn't make any of my wedding events. Where exactly are you guys? We're like two and a half hours out. I called you the morning of your wedding and you didn't pick up. And I was like, okay, you know what? This is the morning of her wedding. I'm gonna let her, you know, she needs to relax. She needs to chill. And I finally got a hold of Andrea. And then she goes, you know what? She's eating breakfast right now. She's turned off her phone. But I would have wanted her to say, Tia, Tia's been trying to call you. You want to call your sister? But basically what she was doing is she's answering these questions on your behalf. And so I'm thinking you're telling her this. What you're communicating is completely not the truth, especially about Andrea. I'm sure if she understood how you felt, she'd be like, oh my gosh. Wait, not the other thing was, we're walking to the ceremony, and I said, where's my sister? I said, I want to talk to her before she walks down the aisle. Yeah. And then I look across the hall, and it's Andrea and Keisha fixing your dress. Do you remember you were like in a little room before yeah. you went? And I'm like, wow, why am I not there? I don't see her for most of my wedding weekend, and now she's telling me I did something wrong. Are you kidding me, Tia? You were like, oh, Tia, I want you to be a part of my wedding. Why, wait, hold on. Why was I not a part of that? How would you feel if I went into labor and you had to hear through the grapevine that I went into labor? Well, you would feel excluded. Well, for one, you wouldn't have to feel that way because I would be by your side no matter what. And for me, the reason why I was feeling, okay, you weren't there and I didn't question it, is because honestly, Tia, throughout the entire wedding process, you were nowhere to be found. I didn't confront Tia because I didn't want to stress her out. But if she wants to talk about the wedding, let's get it all out. Uh, we showed up, didn't okay, we? You showed up late. What Hear about me out, being Tia? tired because you're pregnant? Listen for a second. You said you wanted to be the maid of honor, but you couldn't do a lot of things. So in my head, I'm like, you know what? Tia's just being Tia. I got used to it. And for you, you need to be proactive with your feelings, especially if it's that important. When I couldn't get through you, I got through your next best friend. I said, I've been trying to get a hold of my sister. Did you say, I really want to talk to her. I really want to make sure that I get some words. I personally don't feel that I have to do all of that. That's where I you're can't. wrong. You're not getting Listen. it. This is what I'm saying. You can only see how you feel. You can't see the entire, you can't see sometimes past your nose. You yes, only I see can. how, no, you can't. Are you able to see past your nose with my situation? Hell yeah, I had to learn from you being pregnant. I really feel like we're going around circles around the whole point. I really do. We're just two different people. That's what it is. We two different people and we communicate completely different. I would rather want someone to tell me exactly how they're feeling than to say it and then talk about it later. That's all I'm saying. But I'm done. I'm, I quit. Let's go. I quit. <sighs> but it's all good, right? I'm gonna think about it for a second. Why do you need to think about it? Because sometimes you, you're selfish. Why you are. are you crying? How am I selfish? Because you just don't get it. You don't get it right now. So you're this upset about it. <gasps> the fact that I have to explain to you why I was upset because you were late. You're you saying can't that I'm see. selfish. Yes. The thing is, is you don't care. It's you think about yourself. <gasps> How am I thinking about myself? Oh my God. I don't see how I'm being selfish. This is what's crazy. You don't even. Wait, so I'm being selfish. <laughs> I'm being selfish because I showed up late without telling you. Yes. Okay. And the reason why. I'm sorry that that's how I made you feel because that's not my intention. Just like you said with Andrea, that's my, not, that's not my, I hope you know that that's not my intentions in making you feel that way. That's why I'm like, wow, like I'm shocked that this is how you feel. Wait, Honestly, I know you as Wait. being selfish all the time, so that's no, not how I, no. I know you as being no. selfish. That's 
but that's that's your assumption. That's not my intention. Yeah, that's not my assumption. That's your actions. At that particular point, you have two major things going on. You can't just think about yourself all the time. I'm not a selfish person. I may be, I may You're have had selfish, selfish moments. Person. You have selfish <sighs> moments. Yeah, and you know what? Sometimes I think when you're pregnant, those selfish moments get enhanced. Okay. Because you're thinking and caring about another human being inside your body. I'm not intentionally trying to be a bitch. Well, that's good to hear. Come on, baby, follow the light. Follow the light. There. Knock, knock, I'm coming in. Hi. What are you doing? I am trying to get the baby to move down. I've been doing research online. Yeah. And they say that this works. Babies so follow the flashlight? They can tell from dark and light. Are you comfortable? Hell no. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I'm just doing this oh to Oh my see. gosh. Did you have to do this? <laughs> yeah. I know I went off with my sister at the yogurt shop, but I just needed to get it out. But at the same time, I realized that she's going through a stressful time and I don't want our relationship to be an added stress. So, do you remember? Excuse me? <laughs> okay, this is what we need to work on. Can you ask me politely? Ask you to take yeah. your feet off of my couch? Yeah, just ask Not me. Feet. Don't, don't shoes. go, uh, 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 don't do that. Can you please take your shoes and your feet off the couch? See, that's yes. So I wanted to finish the conversation that we had the other day. Mm -hmm. You told me at first that, listen, I'm gonna be tired. I'm not gonna be able to go to a lot of these events. So with me, I did notice you weren't there, but it's kind of like I expected you not to be there. But the last thing I wanted you to feel was to feel that you were left out. Then when you said that you couldn't even say what you wanted to say before I got married, it really, really bothered me because I would have really loved that conversation, you know? I've realized that it was just a miscommunication situation. There's never a consistency of us always having each other's back. We're always going through this cycle, then having each other's back, then repeating it again. I don't think that we ever don't have each other's back. I think it's just getting there is always difficult. I think we both need to get to a point where we can say what's on each other's mind without each one of us taking it personal, seeing that, okay, your feeling is, is, did you check out? No. You're still listening? No, yeah, he oh, okay. was just moving. I just saw See, him even moving. he agrees. He either agrees or he's annoyed by your voice. <laughs> no, I want to make sure we get it, because oh, I'm tired of going through this. Me too. I get it. I so get it. Okay. So are we cool? I'm cool. I'm cool too.